Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Smeekle, also known as Smeekle, but you can call me Smeekle. And in today's video, we have a crazy competition here today. We're going to be finding out which is the best super team of all time that ever played in the NBA. So as you can see right here, I'm in my league. I customized the league so I have all the best teams in here. I went back, put in all the old teams. I also have the Cavaliers in here. Because, you know, they're one of the best teams in the league right now. The Warriors, probably the best team. And then I have the Spurs. There wasn't a Spurs with Tim Duncan, Kawhi, Ginobili, and all of them on all at the same time. So I threw them in right there. That Spurs team is now in the game instead of the Spurs that are in now. It's just Tim Duncan added on there when they were at their best, when they're winning those championships. So they are on the squad there. And then we're going to hop in to a custom league and find out who actually wins this. We're going to be turning injuries off we don't want any injuries to determine how it actually turns out how anything turns out also trades we're gonna have to turn that off at well we're gonna tr turn the trades off there and then i'm just gonna be every single team that way nothing weird happens no no people get traded or anything just in case the settings are a bit off nothing's gonna happen the teams are gonna stay the same we're gonna play through a season and then play through the whole playoffs and really just find out who the greatest team is leave your comment down below who you think the team that's going to win is you can go back look at all the teams that were in there and you can make your decision i honestly think the warriors might actually be able to take this their roster is super stacked or maybe one of the old time teams also there are some pretty stacked teams in this these rosters so we're just going to auto generate rookies that doesn't matter and we're just going to simulate to the end of the season and see what's happening there all right so we are at the trade deadline right now i'm just going to go over to the standings right now see how everybody is doing i want to go conference standings so at the top of the leaderboard we got the 74 75 lakers the 75 lakers which is a pretty good team right here we got jerry west on the team algin baylor and Rudy LaRusso, very solid squad right here. Kind of surprised that they are in first over like the Miami Heat, the Golden State Warriors. I have a lot of teams that are kind of in different divisions here. I just threw them in random divisions. So not all the Western teams are in the West, not all the Eastern are in the East. But in the East, we got the 65 Celtics. We got Casey Jones, Sam Jones, and Bill Russell. And of course, Havlicek is on the team as well. They actually, I think they actually might have a very solid chance at winning. The 96 Bulls are also right up there on top. Behind the Celtics by quite a bit though. Almost 10 wins behind. Let's see who's in last place for each of the squads. So we got the 98 Spurs. This team wasn't too good. I mean, you got David Robinson and you got Tim Duncan. But it was a young Tim Duncan. So the team wasn't too good. Is he on here? Is Tim Duncan on this team? Maybe he's not. I swear he's on the team. What? Was he not on that team? Okay. But they only have seven wins anyways. And then on the other side, also the 71 Hawks are doing pretty bad. That was with Pistol Pete. They're doing terrible. They have two good players. And that's pretty much it on their team. And then on the other side, we got the Mavericks. Is this... Why is the current Mavericks in? Okay. I don't know why the current Mavericks are in there. Do we have the good Mavericks? Did I mess it up? Okay, we got the good Mavericks in here as well. That's the only team. I forgot to change them to an actual team. It doesn't really matter. They're going to come last place. But we got the good Mavericks as well in here with Steve Nash and Dirk. So we're just going to continue the simulation. I'm pretty sure that is the only team that I forgot to change. It. Everybody else is super teams. And we got the Mavericks out here. But they're not going to make much of a difference. So we're going to simulate to the end of the season and see how the standings actually end up finished all right guys so we are at the end of the season and the warriors barely made it into the playoffs actually on their last win they made it into that seventh place position they were in ninth but anyways our mvp goes to michael jordan who it should go to because he's the greatest player of all time best player in the game rookie of the year goes to this dude on the mavericks probably because there's no other rookies in this game we got six man john havlicek is actually the six man of the year Hakeem Olajuwon gets defensive player. Look at that, 15 rebounds and 23 points a game. Kevin Love gets most improved. That's the current Kevin Love. 
And then the Celtics for the coach of the year with a 63 and 19 record. Let's go and look at these all NBA teams. So we got Michael Jordan, Magic Johnson. We got two LeBrons. We got current LeBron and LeBron from, okay, this is actually him from Cleveland as well. And then Will Chamberlain. Where's the other LeBron at though? The other LeBron's the highest rated out. Pistol Pete, all NBA second team, Tim Hardaway, Larry Bird, Elgin Baylor, and Hakeem Olajuwon. Get on the second team, third team, we got Jerry West, Gary Payton, Carl Malone, Dirk, and Shaq are on the All-NBA third team. Defensive team, LeBron makes it again, MJ makes it again, Garnett, Olajuwon, he got Defensive Player of the Year, so obviously he's going to be on there. And rookies is mostly current teams, because there wasn't really, there's only, there's barely any rookies just from the Mavericks and the Warriors right there. And then let's go into the playoffs, see who's all in here. We got the 65 Celtics against 87 Lakers. Cleveland's in there. Um, the 08 Celtics, the 86 Celtics, 95 Magic, 96 Bulls are actually second seed, and the 01 Lakers. And then, so did all the current team make it? Okay, the Spurs made it, the Cavs made it, and the Warriors made it. All the current teams right now, actually the Spurs are from 2013. And the 96 Bulls are up there. The 65 Lakers are the first seed. That was a really good team. So the two oldest teams are actually the first seed in this competition. But let's just go through and simulate the first round. See how everything turns out in the first round. See who moves on. The Cleveland Cavaliers have been eliminated. They got 4-0. 2013 Miami Heat are out as well. 07 Celtics are out. The Spurs get eliminated. The 07 Cavs. 2001 Lakers are out, 87 Lakers are out. The Warriors are eliminated as well. They were actually my pick. So the two current teams, the Cavs and the Warriors are actually out. The Warriors were really close to winning. The Cavs get 4-0'd by the 86 Celtics. Look, look at this. Larry Bird doing pretty good. The whole team did pretty decent. Kyrie Irving doing good. LeBron didn't really do too good in that game at all. What other team moves on? The 96 Bulls actually moved on. The 2008 Celtics lost. I thought they would have gone a bit further, but we also have two other Celtics teams in here. Then we got the Lakers, obviously, the really good Lakers squad. The 94 Houston Rockets, the Milwaukee Bucks, Detroit Pistons. Okay, okay. Let's simulate the next round, see what happens. 95 Magic are out, 89 Pistons are out, the 65 Lakers actually get eliminated by the Rockets. I thought they might have gone all the way. 86 Celtics are eliminated too. The 65 Celtics might actually go all the way, but they're facing up against the 96 Bulls, which is supposed to be the greatest team of all time. So let's find out how that turns out. The 65 Celtics get eliminated. 94 Rockets are eliminated as well, and it's a 70, 71 Milwaukee Bucks versus the 96 Bulls. So let's kind of look at these box scores here on the Bucks. We got a really good team. It's Kareem and Oscar Robertson, kind of the two leaders on that team there. Let's let's see who's going to fight. I think the 96 Bulls might actually win. I thought they might have been defeated. I honestly thought the uh, the Warriors would have gone a bit farther because their team is really stacked on this game. Whereas the Bulls, they just got Michael Jordan. They have a few players, but their whole squad isn't too dominant. But let's just simulate this game for game. So the Bucks go up 1-0. It is a 1-1. 2-1 for the Bucks. 3-1 for the Bucks. 3-2. And the 71 Milwaukee Bucks actually won the championship. Oscar Robertson with that MVP, finals MVP, 19 points per game, 7 rebounds, and 9 assists. Kind of close to triple-double, which he was. He was the first to average a triple-double in a season. And the 96 Bulls taking the L right there to Oscar Robertson and Kareem. Michael Jordan having a really good game. Uh, Scottie Pippen and Dennis Rodman. Those are really the only three players that really do anything when you play with the Bulls. The rest aren't the best. But there you go, guys. The greatest super team of all time is the 71 Milwaukee Bucks, according to this simulation. It could have turned out differently. The 96 Bulls were right there. I think the if the 65 Celtics weren't facing the Bulls, they would have also made it. But pretty solid teams that made it to the finals here. 
obviously the the 65 Celtics is from a completely different era all these teams wouldn't face each other ever but the 71 bucks beat the greatest team of all time that we all know today to be the greatest team they have the second best record now but they did win the championship unlike the Warriors there you go guys if you did enjoy the video don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe for more daily content this has been your boy Speakle, and I'll see you next time peace